Okay, what made me go into video production? The reason I went into video production is because I had a, a, a video producer that worked with me. I caught him when he was in school. He was actually going to uh, Cal Arts, I think, in Valencia, off of McBean Parkway or something like that, over there by Magic Mountain, like a few exits from Magic Mountain. And um, me and Jackpot, which is a group called Poetic Punishment, album on iTunes, check it out. We had a nice, cool rapport with. But I mean, with those kind of universities and colleges, I mean, you have people that already have jobs before they graduate. And fortunately enough, <clears throat> for my man, Marco, that was the case. So he actually flew overseas to New Zealand to uh, work on uh, the Lord of the Rings, whole everything. So. He gained some bomb experience, success, did the hog, did all kind of stuff. But I lost a video man in the process. So in the process of losing a video man, I mean, the show goes on regardless. So what I did was bought a lot of software, bought a lot of equipment, and then I had to learn how to use it myself. Time passed, tutorials, trial and error, iMovie to Final Cut Pro, green screen. So, I mean, just the tenacity that I showed to actually want to learn something that was needed to actually make my package more complete. That's what brought me into video production. Like, we're looking at videos now. This video that we're watching here is actually from Turn Back the Hands of Time. And this whole video is from the documentary that I have sprinkled throughout YouTube. So you just go up disaster documentaries and that would show up. As of right now, I'm working on another documentary. And this documentary is more like behind the music that actually gives you a more intimate uh, experience with disaster. You know, we're actually in one of my labs here. We got the drum set here. And, you know, we got the computers, boxes, speakers, where a lot of the magic comes from. I actually do shit here and you buy it later. Uh, what did I do here? I did um, Smoke With Me here. I did um, Category 5 Hurricane here. We, did most of Jackpot's album here. So, I mean, the lab is always something going on. In any place that I have, I got many studios set up all over the city and working on all over the country because as long as I have a studio where I can actually uh, release tension and have a little therapy in between or just vent, it's always good to have a place to vent. And this is my place to vent. I'm not going to cuss you out on the phone. I'm not going to keyboard whip you on Facebook. This is my venting place, the studio. Did I send it to you? Straight out the oven. You know what I'm saying? I need some ambiance in here. There we go. There we go. Give me a little smoke and mirrors up in here. You know, this is your boy Disaster. I'm in the studio. This is how we do it. I got the smoke machine set up up in here. You know, you never know what you're going to get. I'm sitting here drinking. When I'm up in here, I might be busting the song out, you know, and just say it's not smoky enough up in this mind. Like, so next thing you know, you're getting smoke at a push of a button. You know what I mean? And, uh, that creates a whole different mood for me, you know. I go deep, deep into the mind of a disastrous lyricist. Sip on a little of this, drink on some whatever, a couple new ports here and there. Next thing you know, we got another hit. So, a lot of this smoke is real smoke, smoke. And then I have also 
mood smoke. You're experiencing mood smoke just to create an ambiance inside of you. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right here. Y'all dealing with the realness in this shit for real. I mean, the struggle and the time that I put into this shit. You hear it through every track. You hear it through all the songs. You know what I mean? You gonna get it from me. I'm giving that shit up. I'm not holding back. I'm not sitting on songs. When I hear it, y'all hearing what I'm bumping in my shit. Because I'm bringing it to you. It don't matter. It's a trip looking back at these old clips. It's my nigga Jackpot getting out the little Cadillac. Because that's how we do it, you know what I mean? But um, I'm going to go ahead and take an intermission, take a duck, dip, dip in the pool, kind of chill out a little bit. And then um, I'll invite you guys to one of my sessions. All right? Cool. Disaster signing out. Get some more smoke up in this mob back here. It ain't smoking. <laughs>